Okay, I'm going to change the alternator in my 2008 Chrysler Town & Country. So we're gonna take off the casing to the air uh, filter. I just unscrewed this one right here that's connected to the, to the engine part and just unclick it. And it comes right off and then twist it over to the side. Down. Oh, first things first, guys, take out your battery, okay? Disconnect your lead, start with the negative terminal because you don't want to shock yourself and, yeah. Oh, and also with the air filter, there's going to be a little um, sensor connector or I'm assuming it's a sensor. Um, and you're going to disconnect that from it before you pull it off. So, now I'm going to get down in here with the serpentine tool. There it is. Um... What we're going to do, the way you get to this, so you're going to use this, the square portion of the serpentine tool, and it's all the way down in here. So I'm going to show you. You see this right here? This one? Yep, that one. It's right below it. So you see the, the nut at the very top? You see the nut right here? Okay, it's just, if you take your finger and keep going below, you'll feel it. It feels like a little, let me see. Feel the nut, just go, just keep going straight down. And you're gonna feel right, right, right there. Right here, do you see that? It's almost see it. My finger can go right here. It's a little square, okay? I can get my hand in here because I am small hands. So, if you got your wife or teenager, kid to do it, you can totally do it. Just get that serpentine tool. So now you guys know where it's at. It's not this top wheel, it's not this top wheel or that one, it's that one. And then just reach down. Do this. Okay. All right. We all got it, we see it. Oops. Okay, oh, there we go, wiggle it in. And you see my belt right here? Right here, loosening up when I pull. There you go, see? So pretty much, I'm gonna have to set you down. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Hmm. All right. Can I see my belt? Okay. So. my belt. Hold the tension back. Do it again. Pull it all the way. I'm trying to get my belt off this. And that's all the part of the belt I'm going to take off. I'm not going to loosen anything else. Be real careful pulling that back slowly because I don't want to take the tension off of where the belt is on anything on any of the um, other wheels I'm just gonna leave that alone okay pretty good so it doesn't really tell you people online don't really tell you how to do that uh, how to pull on that so for this car it's almost like you have to you have to pull and hold with one hand while taking off because it's not like a once you pull it's not like a a bolt or a nut that's just going to come off it's going to stay off you actually have to pull to hold the tension from being um uh, from loosening the tension so that's it okay so now that that's loosened all you're pretty going to do is gonna start taking some disconnecting the power Remember where you put your bolts too, okay guys? So be organized, it makes it easier when you finally take everything, put everything back together. This one you just pull back on the red. And 
and then just squeeze and pull back. So you pull back on this red, so it pops in and out right here. See, it goes in and out, you pull it back, and this is this little lever right here. You just squeeze and pull. You can't get out. All right, now we're gonna take this off. Ooh. Let's see. There we go. That was a, what is that size? 14 millimeter. This is, I believe, a 13. And this one's a 13. So. Two more bolts need to be coming off so you got your electricals out you got this holding you down out now it's right here i'm not sure if you can see it in the video um but it's let me move it okay so it's right here this one and this one those two those should be about 14 millimeters i believe as well so let me just hold this up here uh, not Nope, those are bigger than 14, so probably 15. This is a 3.8 liter V6. There are two alternator types. Um, one that's 140 amp, and one that is oh, one that is 160 amp. So, to be honest, I don't know which one this one needs because I can't see it on here. The alternator, it's not written on here. So I'm gonna go take it too. This is a smaller one, so remember where each one goes, guys. If you need to, write it down. Okay. It's really tight squeeze, so you just gotta grab it and just wiggle and pull. There. Oh, there you go. Okay, back from AutoZone and got it. They had it in store, the other one they didn't. So this turns out mine is a 160 amp alternator. So I'm gonna take off all these little thingies, uh, start putting it back in. Also, I decided to try to maybe exchange the belt just in case, because usually when you do something like this, you wanna also change the belt. But after, a thorough inspection of the belt I believe that the belt I have on here is good it's in good condition so I'm not too worried about that so I'm gonna hold on to this maybe return it and if you want just online print it off uh, sorry online I printed off this pretty much how you wire the belt in my car because the one on here says that the Chrysler down here is like that but that's probably like a different model of Chrysler so I found this online okay. so. so when you reinstall your amp or not your amp sorry your alternator right here as you can see it kind of sticks out it's not going to go straight into um, where it needs to go because it's kind of it's not it's not flush so I can tell you can kind of push it in there you go push it in with some pressure your thumb there you go now it's pretty flush there you go and I can put it in 
I almost thought I had the wrong one. that connect this there we go let's get this belt back on okay again we're gonna find that there it is push it in with my finger it's in and I'm gonna go ahead and put my hand in here. Just make sure that the whole belt is snaked in there right. It's on its hmm. Just double check with the light. Nope. See that's not even on there properly. There it goes. Now it's on. Just needed that light. Okay. Just gonna pull this back. Everything's good. Uh, that's it, guys. I believe it's on there. Now I'm going to connect. Oh, well, probably should put this back on. Dirty, look, dust, corrosion. You can easily clean that off with a towel, your hand, water, water with baking soda. Um, looks like this. You can clean the uh, battery terminals with this from the inside, little metal wires. Open it up, and you can clean your leads so that's what I'll do so got a new battery I should have known that something was going on with my alternator because we've had three new batteries in the last three years. So I just had this one replaced last year. And uh, it's kind of a sign. If your battery's going pretty quickly, um, oh, there we go. Um, your 
it's a sign. Your battery is just, or I mean, yeah, your battery is, or your alternator is shot. So I'm going to connect those. Let's see, where is my, I think these ones are, no, this is an 11 millimeter. Either way, I'll tighten that later. I want to get my car started, see how it goes. Just turned on my car. I'm going to, it's actually on now. Oh gosh, moment of truth guys, I've never done this before. I hope that belt's on right. My lights come on. So good. Yep. <laughs> I guess that's how you fix the alternator for a 2008 Chrysler Town & Country. Any questions, let me know.